first is an audio tour that people can take uh, using their very own cell phones. So all they need to do is dial a number when they enter the park and then they can look at the numbers on the exhibits and learn about a bobcat or a moose or a bear or an eagle at their leisure. So we're hoping that that's going to give a lot of information to folks. Uh, we also have six new small mammal exhibits and we're really excited about that. We eliminated um, the very outdated row that we called that used to house the raccoons, the uh, opossums, the skunks, etc. And now um, they are in six new naturalized exhibits. They can bask in the sun, they can roll in the dirt, they can hang out on logs. Um, and so it's all completely natural and that's what we're trying to focus on and make our goal for the park is to have every animal here in a natural exhibit. Thank you for coming to the Maine Wildlife Park and hope you all come and visit our new exhibits and some of our old friends too. Uh, what we hope is that people understand that the park is owned and operated by the Department of Fish and Wildlife and what we're trying to represent here are the programs and projects of the department. Um, a lot of people don't realize that we're in charge of wildlife, their habitats, and making sure that there's enough wildlife for everyone to enjoy. And so we hope that people learn a little bit more when they come to the park and go through um, of what the department does to manage our wildlife in Maine.